All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I got, myself, why I got into stacking, and then I'm actually gonna ask you how you got into stacking. Let's get into it. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. All right, everybody, International Stacker here, and I have had some people complaining about my hands in the camera, but it's funny when I don't do any hands, people complain. It's boring when I do hands, people complain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type up a message here and just reply to everybody and tell them they're, I'm responding to them live. Um, but I'm gonna talk to you guys about why I'm a real stacker. First, let's get this comment in here so I can start copy and pasting while we're talking. Let's go. All right, there we go, we got the comments. So um, I'm just gonna start, and you guys, I'm super behind on comments. So I'm gonna post this in here and all these people are gonna be on here while they discuss this. So how did I get into stacking? It's actually a really funny story. So um, I was overseas at this point and I think it was like 2014 or 2015. And I actually, um, you know, there's not a lot to do in the Middle East when you're not working, right? So I actually uh, was, uh, you know, watching YouTube and stuff, and I actually had seen a couple stacking videos. I'm like, what the heck is this? And I even specifically remember seeing a video where a gentleman was like, guys, I'm not gonna stack anymore, I'm quitting. And then he's like, just kidding, and he had a table full of medals, it was crazy. Uh, but what got me into it? So I actually uh, got into it from cryptocurrencies, and here's how. So I was looking at Bitcoin. At this time, I think Bitcoin was only three or 400 bucks a pop. And I actually started, I bought a little bit, but then I actually found out you could mine it. So I bought a miner from China, shipped it to myself in Saudi Arabia, plugged that puppy and started mining. Well, crypto started picking up and then there's another contractor out there, another American guy. And I was like, dude, this Bitcoin thing is crazy. I just started getting into it. So it you know, and that's when, that was right before the crazy run up when it was starting to pick up. So he's like, oh, so he kind of got into Bitcoin because I did and he was mining. He's like, you know what? Me and some other guys, we stack. I'm like, stack, what do you mean? He's like, gold and silver. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, And he's like, and he told me about it. He's like, oh yeah, you know, we uh, do gold and silver. And you know, this is why, this is where you go. And I remember the first time I was on a bullion dealer's website and I remember seeing all the um, prices like 99 cents over spot and all this stuff. And I, guys, I was so confused. I'm like, what the heck is this? 99 cents over spot, what is spot? So I talked to him the next day and he explained everything to me. So then I got into it, so then I started buying. Um, now, if you go to my channel, and you guys, there's so much gold on my channel, like a lot of my older videos do not have that many views at all. Hit me with this, look at that, hit me with the CDC. Do not have, um, I didn't want to go there. Do not have many views at all, but they're, they're gold. So, if you look at my channel, my very first video, sort by oldest, I had been buying gold and silver for months and shipping it. And this is my first video ever. Welcome to my channel. Let the stacking begin. That was three years ago. And these were all the boxes that were waiting for me that I was collecting during that time. So he got into cryptos because of me. And you guys, he killed it in cryptos. He did way better than I did. Uh, but I'll be happy to announce that I converted most of my crypto money um, into my, some of my physical gold and silver. But anyway, so the same use case I was seeing for cryptos and stuff, I was like, oh, when I saw gold and silver, I'm like, that's it. That's what I've been looking for. And then because of that, I saw the hidden secrets of money and all these different things. And, you know, it really changed my life, guys. This stacking adventure has been so crazy. So recently I posed the question to all of you. So let's see how you guys responded. So I said this. And you guys, it never fails. When I post something, I always spell something wrong. Let's see if I got something wrong. Serious question. What got you into stacking? My videos got 10%. <laughs> Other YouTube sil silver gold videos. Sorry, I is, I is your chop deliver. That got 22%. Silver commercials at 3 a.m., 4%. That's funny. Non-YouTube, um, but YouTube kept me going, 54%. So a lot of people 
got started off YouTube, and I guess I did too, although I saw a stacking video before. I wonder why I never bit, I don't know. And then what's silver stacking? 9%, those are probably just a bunch of people joking. So let me load these comments and show you what you all said. Big Cheech 459 said, what the F is stacking? I actually told him what it is, because I'm like, maybe he's not a troll, maybe he's serious. Bit by the silver bug said, Yours and Silver Dragons were the first videos I started watching. What did you get me into? That's funny, bit by the silver bug. It sounds like you literally got bit by the silver bug. Gold Attic said, uh, none of the above. Been stacking since I was eight years old with my grandpa. Used to collect only constitutional. Then I got into chicks and beer and took a 15 year hiatus. That's funny. Then back into stacking again. Welcome back, my friend. Silver Watcher said, Cold fact, mine was Silver Slacker. And you guys, besides that by mistake video I saw, when I got into Silver Stacking, Silver Slacker was my go-to channel. Police56 says you, Silver Dragon, Silver Seeker, have encouraged and honed my Silver Stacking skills. It's useless trying to catch up to your stack, but I did get five one-tenth ounce gold eagles from the national, thanks to you. You guys, I put out that Alert for gold epically under spot, and he got it. Congratulations. Austrian Stacker said, My mother got me into stacking. I got one tenth ounce gold Philharmonic or gold Ducat, 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 whatever you want to say, as Christmas present every year. RIP, Granny. RIP to your Granny, but that is super cool. She got you started, Austrian Stacker. Uh, Hughes Enterprises, when my great grandpa died. Part of her, or grandma, part of her estate was hundreds of rolls of uncirculated Morgans. Are you serious? She'd been stacking. I wanted to stack like that for myself. What happened to those Morgans? Please tell me you have them. Stumbled on a live pour on YouTube. Now I'm hooked. That is a cool story, Floyd Baldwin. Bella's dad, a.k.a. Phil, who I recently met in Connecticut and have a few videos with him, so go check those out. One morning long ago with grandfather when he decided to show me his collection that's awesome and if you guys watch my videos you know i have my nieces on a lot so i wonder if they're going to be lifetime stackers because of me uh wolfy werewolf said two cents maybe they were uh steel pennies i don't know uh green logic k says people like ron paul and peter schiff got me interested years ago but i didn't actually start buying until i came across stacker share on youtube I think Silver, Dra Silver Dragons might have been the first person I started watching. You and Yankee were the others among the first channels I came across. In fact, I'm pretty thankful this community helped push me to actually start doing something I should have started several years ago. Wow, so he had the seed, he or she had the seed planted in them, and then they saw videos. And you know, that's the great thing about this, and one reason I like making videos, besides sharing my you know adventure or journey with you guys, um, you know, I think we're at this, I know this community is growing huge, a lot bigger than it was. And, you know, getting people into gold and the silver and seeing the use case is amazing. I think it will change lives. Plata, which is Spanish for, uh, silver. I'm pretty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Plata Pioneer said, I saw a movie that had gold bars and looked it up to try to buy one and found out they were way too expensive <laughs> So bought silver, 10 ounce bar. That's awesome, Plata. Ryan 218, my grandma got me started with silver dollars. That's epic. Robert uh, Rorley, that's hard to say actually, Rorley. Uh, YouTube has also uh, helped to increase my stack. Oh, you guys, giveaways or G-A-W's, gauze for short. You can increase your stack, gold and silver. I've won gold and silver on YouTube. Jenna Mind Trickster, your opening is one of the best in the space. Yes, makes me laugh. One man on a mission to find silver. Most people like it. Some people hate it, guys. And they drag on me. If you ever, I get some hate comments. It's crazy. Johnny B, financial crisis of 2008 got me stacking. Well, welcome to the club. Lack of confidence in the government. Kent State, 1970, uh, May 4. Lack of confidence in the banking system. So guys, Kent State is where there's people protesting. National Guard went in. Someone fired a shot, like by mistake, supposedly. And then it just it became a chain reaction. It went crazy. You know who? Uh, none of the above. 2008 brought me in hard. Although I have stacked consistently since 2003. But guess what? Since 2008, everyone you can think 
of has been wrong. Schiff, Maloney, Bix, Zhang, Chris, et L. Et L means every like all of them. Usually you don't put so many people at L, but anyways, I think et L is five or more. So actually, one, two, three, four. Oh, he got it right. Don't listen to anyone who sells silver for a living. If you have stayed in silver for the last nine years, you have lost a metric boat ton in opportunity cost. I'll be buying more soon, but for now, I'll await the turn. The dead cat is about to hit. You know what's funny, guys? This is two weeks ago. You know who. This is two weeks ago. Silver's a lot lower now. <laughs> Get in there. And a, a big shout out to, uh, oh, who was that? It was Maddie something or Maddie Bjorn just commented on my uh, on my comment saying that he was going to be on the next thing, uh, next uh, video. Al Smiley says, friends from Atmex. Cassie Lopez says, none of the above. Well, tell us, Cassie. Let's check out Cassie here. Uh, I don't know, guys. Mrs. International Stacker. Uh, I'm just kidding. Hopeful Stacker. I actually was coin roll hunting and then wanted to learn how to get pure silver. So YouTube, so you YouTubes it and found the community starting from Silver Seeker and Silver Dragons, which led me to your channel. Well, welcome. Uh, random stranger on the internet. That name cracks me up, guys. Ha, huh, at least liver is good catfish bait. <laughs> oh, because I said chopped the liver up top. So it's good catfish bait. That's good. M. Nice is saying, I was at the casino wasting money and not winning. I put my slip in the machine to cash out. Out came a silver 1964 quarter and I knew I wanted more. That week I placed my first order in Atmex and never turned back. Wow, so you guys, he left the casino and started stacking silver. That's awesome. I was amazed there was a whole community to encourage me to get more silver. A stacker was born almost one year ago today. Edit. I just checked my older coins. Today's one year exactly. Wow. Happy anniversary to M Nights two weeks ago. Okay. I forgot, guys. I'm not supposed to sing. I'm sorry. I, for I forgot. Silver Keys saying a stroke in 2013. Sorry to hear that. Silver Keys. Then a second one in 2018 and a rare brain condition diagnosis. Lost your job or health insurance wiped out. Our savings retirement. I'm still not able to drive to work and we live super rural area. So our ability to save for for or save for the future has been difficult. In September I found a couple of YouTube channels, started to watch and knew this is the way for us to build some savings at home. And you, you guys, you know what's so great about silver? You can stack any amount a month or a year. Even if it's a silver dime a month, you know. Dollar twenty or dollar fifty, whatever it is today, a month. You know, if you can scrape that together, you can stack your own stack. I hope you're doing well, Silver Keys. I hope you recovered and wish you well in the future, my friend. M King, uh, my dad told me a story when I was seven years old about this man who had a saddle made of silver. That man's name was William Wrigley Jr., founder of Wrigley's Gum. That's interesting. Uh, unidentified bot. That's a funny name. Uh, common sense did, but you guys kept me going. Awesome. Highlander Stack, and I actually met him in real life as well, guys. Not that long ago in Arizona. Go check that video out. My Jewish friends kept bugging me about it. Interesting. Uh, Timothy Mack got started because of Mike Maloney's uh, from gold to silver com, And, you know, Mike Maloney's Hidden Secrets of Money, guys. I love it. If you've not seen it, watch it. Literally one of the episodes is playing out now. I think it's episode seven or eight is literally playing out now. It's crazy. And I actually got my family into stacking because I got them to watch those videos. Oh, Manti Bjorn, Bjorn replied. That's awesome. So shout out to that, that viewer right now that's replying to my comment. Uh, AJS, the state of the world economic system got me into stacking. I took notice about two or three years ago. Awesome. So, guys, on live streams, I used to say TP FLR uh, medals. He's like, dude, it's top floor. I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. None of the above. Laugh out loud. Dutch Silver Stacker, my granddad, he searched for coins with his metal detector. Got me hooked. That's awesome, Dutch Dutch Silver sta uh, Stacker. Rapala, dude. Rapala, dude. Oh, do you repel? You climber, bro? I wanted to find silver coins for magic, so I went to LCS, got the coins I wanted, and then just kept going back, especially after looking up silver coins on YouTube and finding out 
about what stacking was. You were one of the first stackers I found. Woo! Salvador Sanchez. I think I got on Rob, Rob Finds Treasure. You guys, Rob Finds Treasure has so many um, subscribers now. I feel like he's the ga a gateway for a lot of non-stackers in the community. That's super cool. But I've liked gold panning for like 10 years. I love gold panning too. I used to have a sluice, my own sluice. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Gold Rush. Oh, Gold Rush the show, guys. I literally love that show. If you love that show, let me know in the comments. I wonder how many, I'm sure you all love it. Uh, gold, silver, platinum, palladium investor. Nah, none of the above. I've been stacking since I was 14. I've seen silver long-term investment where demand would outpace supply due to future industrial uses. I see gold as a store of value over the US dollar and real money along with silver. I agree with you, my friend. Michael Steffen said, I found silver. Wait, I found the silver I bought at 17. Forgot about it till 20 years later. Wow, so he bought silver when he was 17 years old. I hope it was something epic. So it was 37 when he found it. Silver beginning saying, I ask myself that every day. I like the idea of long-term wealth. Also, even if my kids don't like stacking gold coins and silver coins. Also, even, okay. They are very awesome to pass down. Oh, even if they don't like it, they're awesome to pass down. Get it? So if you passed away, your kids would say, my dad loves stacking coins. <laughs> Laugh out loud, so my future kids. Or so your kids' future. Hopefully they do something smart with it. I hope so too. Brandon Richman. I got into it when my wife bought brought home some coinage as a gift. A few of the coins are fakes. Oh, she got swindled. That sucks. Probably a, like a, uh, not an LCF. She's probably a pawn shop or something. I put a strong magnet to them and to check them if they'd stick. He used to say, I have a few funny coins to leave away uh, from the real stack for if any would be whatever it was to try it and break into my house and steal anything. Fake bullion, a decent deterrent to have a security aspect of <laughs> portfolio real talk. That's funny. Woo, those, those long comments are hard. I need to take a little sip, hold up. Here we go. Your channel was one of the first three precious metal channels I came across. Uh, when your year and a half old daughter found a standing Liberty quarter, 1918, wow. I thought it was such a cool coin over 100 years old. That night on YouTube, I was looking for a way to fix the coin as a pendant for her. Anyways, one jewelry video and I found stacking. That's awesome. That was July 1st, 2019. That is the official date. We started coin collecting gold and silver. That is awesome. Oh, it's, but wait, there's more. Uh, I think I told you uh, this story once before. So thanks again for doing what you do. It's literally changed my life. That's awesome, Travis. Scooter, I'm happy to hear that. I was a bad saver. Stacking has taught me a lot in this short amount of time. I hope to never have to sell and look forward to dad, daughter bonding over these beautiful medals and hopefully hand them down to her. That's awesome, man. Congrats. That's awesome. Eric Silver Singletary. <laughs> I got back into coins last year with uh, Clash Guitars, but once I found the Silver Stacking Community and IS, I started stacking smarter. And with more information, that's awesome, Eric Silver. Uh, mainly stacking says coin collecting exposed me to stacking at my LCS. Awesome. Russ Sherwood. I'm in my 50s. And when I was 10 years old, I was into the treasure hunting and prospecting thing. My best friend's grandpa had a silver dollar that he carried, uh, that he carried, that his grandpa had given him. He would pay us both to work in his garden. Silver dollars. That's sick. That's where I caught the bug. That's awesome. I hope you still have some of those silver dollars. Dang, how many more comments are there, guys? Should we keep going? Quicksilver. My cousin and uncle got me into stacking silver and getting some numismatic coins as well. That's awesome. Mike Maloney, Hidden Secrets of Money from Fatulous085222. TC saying you and many other YouTubers. Awesome. AG Metals is saying, where's the option? Independent research into the history of the Fed and fractional reserve banking. That's funny. 
Love your channel. Poop Man. We got Poop Man. Scrooge McDuck, the leprechaun from the horror movies, and Mr. Krabs. My favorite movie quotes uh, from any movie. Uh, favorite movie quote from any movie was, I want me gold. That's funny. Darth Stacker. Like most people, my father got me into it. Lee Oldham. Um, gold uh, got trade center round had it handed to me in drive through 20 years ago. I kept it and now I have a pretty pile. That's awesome, Lee. White Cart Tossy, Dustin Numos White YouTube channel. Oh, I think I've heard that name, Dustin Numos. Numos. Um, I think I might have seen that. Martin Harris. I started out watching Constitutional Silver Channels. That started me on my hobby stacking. I don't stack on a large scale. Finding deals and shopping locally, what I do. Since then, I listen and learn from the stacker collectors like you. Awesome. I need to plug my, I need to plug my phone in. One second here. Video's going longer than I thought it would. Um, Dustin Stoltz, Stoltz. I seen Robert Kioski video about metals and started buying an ounce a paycheck. And now, sorry guys, I'm trying to plug my phone at the same time. Um, and now I'm up to five ounces a paycheck. Thanks for, to you and Baggins, now Dragons, but guys, he used to be Silver Baggins, then he got a copyright infringement. Crazy, huh? Lord of the Rings. And RFT, Rob Finds Treasure and Silver Joker. Lol, dang it, guys, laugh out loud. Great, man. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Dustin. Rock and Rod, a coworker showed me a five ounce silver bar. He let me hold it. Here I sit at a thousand ounces plus later. You guys, that is crazy. That's such a cool story. Gregory Menorio, I think I heard him, a few of his things. My uncle and IS, you've been an inspiration because now. The stack has grown exponentially. Awesome, Mad Hatter, 1891. Wow, you're old, Mad Hatter. But back then might have been when the Mad Hatters were actually inhaling um, mercury, which made them loopy, which is why they called them Mad Hatters. Was it mercury? I think it was mercury. Was it mercury? Or is it radioactive? It might have been radioactive isotopes painted on watches. Was that for Mad Hatters or was it mercury? I can't remember. It was one of those things. Uh, Luke Wilson says, uh, just always loved all metals, mostly as a scrapper, and now I have a little money. I thought that is the cheapest I can buy and keep as an investment, so I bought some silver. I love to watch y'all stack as much as actually, wait, I love to watch y'all stack as much as actually stack. Awesome. Chef Dan says, Silver Slayer got me into stacking. Uh, you have been a door through to the silver community. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Chef Dan. You know, and guys, when I make videos and stuff, sometimes I gear them towards people who aren't stackers to try to draw them into the community. Silver Wheels is saying, although discovered you through, oh, you discovered me through them. Awesome. Silver Slacker got you. Me too, our dog. Uh, Nicholas Burns says, Big Stack D's. Big Stack D's or Big Stack McGee's? I'm not sure. Channel, but for coins and other forms of precious metals, you. Thank you, my friend. Silver Dragons got me stacking Alejandro. That is awesome, guys. Wow. So, Mrs. IS, guys? Just kidding. So, what do you guys think? Um, what do you guys think? Tell me below. Why did you start stacking? And maybe if you tell me below, maybe I'll make a part two of this and post another video. We can have more discussion. But check out how many comments I am behind. You guys, I pride myself. I literally pride myself by responding to every comment. You know, and I was caught up until like a week ago. Then I had some videos blow up, which was pretty cool. So thank you to all of you for your support. And the comments just rolled in. So I'm also using this video as a bit of a cheat to work through some of these comments. Anyways, I think that's it, guys. I think that's all I have to talk about. Tell me what you think. Did you like this video? Do you want more discussion videos like this? What's your favorite type of video? Leave it in the comments below. And I will try to make it for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to leave on global nonsense. What is up? Let me get the last comment. 
All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll say I'm just looking at through. I'm just like, hey, let's see what else is here. Whoa, look at this thread. Wow. Okay, Steve Rice has an epic thread talking about Steve Rice telling shit. Wow. That is a long thread. I'm gonna show more replies. Holy moly, that thread went crazy. I'm gonna have to read that thread later. Oh, here's another long thread. You guys, this video I did, Insider Tells All, about Monument Metals, these got really people discussing. That's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And what did I say? Catch you on the next one. C. Y. O. T. N. Oh, I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, guys.